With a Coronado Personal Solar Telescope or Coronado PST Telescope you can view a lot of things on the sun and of course everybody wants to photograph what they are seeing. But with the standard Coronado PST you won't get any good focus out of it and all images will seem very blurry. So we do need uh, some modifications in the setup to get uh, really sharp images. In this video I will go through the modifications I have done uh, to get uh, more sharp images and to get it really into focus. So what do we need uh, to get uh, our DSLR camera connected uh, with our Coronado PST? So it all starts with a simple T-ring that uh, can be connected with your camera. So this T-ring is particular for the Canon EOS uh, series. Um, because I photograph with a Canon 60D. Um, so with this simple T-ring you can attach any, almost anything uh, to your camera. The second thing we need is uh, a very good camera adapter. So this will, uh, this will attach the T-ring to your camera adapter. But you need to look out with uh, many camera adapters. There are many available but this will uh, give you focus or no focus or not just enough focus. So the camera adapter I use is normally just not enough to get it really into focus. The camera adapter I use is an Orion variable universal camera adapter. The last piece we need is a good eyepiece. I use a 25mm Sirius Plossel uh, eyepiece so um, that gives you the full sun into the image. So it's uh, good enough for good solar photography. The last thing is that we need to put it all together now. So I already attached the T-ring to the camera adapter. The next thing is that we put in the eyepiece. Uh, but before we do that, we take our eyepiece and we will uh, we'll take this apart. Um, why? You will see this in a moment. So we have our eyepiece. Uh, our camera adapter, you must make it as small as possible. This camera adapter is quite big. Um, it normally fits in perfect here, but you'll start noticing if you use it like that, you won't get any focus. So, as I said earlier, you must make it as small as possible, and we do that by uh, removing this piece. So, we have these knobs here. So, this is the full length, you need to put it whole into it and screw it, yes, um, so that it's really, really short. That's the best part, um, because the shorter it gets, the more focus you will, uh, will get in, in the images. So, um, the eyepiece, or what's left of it, uh, we put it in the top, and we push it all the way to the end, so you see the eyepiece there, yep, and we will, um, it will be loose because the lower end part is missing. Uh, why do I do that? Um, because the whole thing must be attached to the, to the PST and um, as you can see in the inside there's not enough uh, space left here uh, to get it um, really tight here um, connected. So um, that, that's why I tear it apart, the eyepiece with the two pieces, so I will put this into the camera, but not all the way down. Um, I, I will make it that uh, this piece comes out as much as possible, but still is uh, tightened with the knob here. So um, it's a bit looking out, and once it gets attached, you see that we have a bit more space left now. So this will be able to put it here, and get it real tight. So next thing is just connect the camera. So that's easy. You have the, the camera adapter with uh, this bullet here on the top where we can connect it simply with our camera. So to there. So this is our setup and now we can take uh, 
it on to the camera and start with solar imaging. Now let's go through some general tips when uh, photographing the sun through a uh, PST. Um, the first and the most important is the live view mode on your DSLR camera. Um, the live mode gives you the sun in the full view in your um, display and uh, to get it into real focus we will view uh, the image more into detail by uh, zooming in on it into the live view mode and you get to the border of the sun where we have uh, filaments uh, on the border where we can uh, perfectly um, get the focus of the image and also we have uh, sunspots to get our focus. So um, the focusing knob is here on the PST and move it very slightly up and down to get it real into focus. Um, I photograph with a tripod. It's not very good because it's very unstable and oh, uh, shakes <laughs> a little bit. So um, this makes it uh, more difficult to get the best out of the images. So if you can, uh, you can uh, get a heavier uh, tripod um, for, uh, for example, larger telescopes, uh, HEQ mount, um, for example. Um, or if, if you have a, a normal telescope, you can also um, have uh, uh, the PST attached to the telescope with a following system and uh, many, many more. So this is a very basic setup, which is able to perform also really well. Um, but uh, to get it into real good focus, a, a simple tripod is not that good. The ISO setting I use is uh, 400. You can use larger ISO settings, um, but I prefer ISO 400. Um, this ISO setting uh, is uh, pretty good to get uh, not too much of noise into the image. When you put the ISO higher, for example 1600, it will be uh, more noise in the image, which will destroy all uh, so some of the details into the image. The exposure time I used when I photograph is uh, approximately uh, a quarter of a second, but I also use uh, a bit of overexposed uh, images to get more detail out of the prominences on the solar limb. Um, so uh, we have a bit of underexposed images for uh, the the surface of the sun itself, and overexposed images for the prominences on the limb. And afterwards we will uh, put them all together into a stacking program if you're using a webcam um, or uh, with simple uh, Photoshop. So this is uh, one of the images I took. Uh, it shows uh, the prominences here uh, and there, uh, filaments, uh, sunspots and many more. Uh, this is a normal exposure. Uh, of approximately one uh, over a quarter of a second um, and this is an example of an overexposed image where we can clearly see uh, much of the of the prominences on the sun's limb so these two can be combined into uh, an image into Photoshop so we can get a result like this we encourage you to upload all of your images taken with the Coronado PST and upload them on our gallery on spacelevelive.com. If you still have questions, don't hesitate to contact us below in the comments or on our website spacelevelive.com.